moment I probably remember the most about Zeebs is when I was a young fellow. I um, I got tackled by Zeebs and he actually broke my wrist. Good spoil, Zeebel. And a splendid tackle to follow it up. Great tackle. I had to wear a glove for the year, so thanks for that one, Zeeba. When I ran out for the banner with him, uh, I reckon I was about four or five, I just remember him coming over and saying, stay with me and we'll be all right. So just that moment when I was really young and um, that's what connected me to the club as well. Probably his goals in the semi-final will be Geelong. That was, that was very nice. And so much now riding on this kick, and it's bending back. That is a beautiful kick. Their future's been taken out of their own hands, the Cats. It's on the boot of Jack Zeeble. Probably his ability to kick a goal whenever you need it most, so he's done that a fair few times. He'll get closed down, he gets a foot to it. The goal's going to be kicked by Zeeble and the Kangaroos at the front with 20 seconds left. It's just his relentless ability to throw his body in at all costs and it doesn't matter what happens to himself or his, or his health. To see him come from the ground with an injury, come back on and think, oh, it mustn't be too bad. And then you come in on the Monday and you actually see the report and you see what actually happened to him and how he was able to play through it and then finds a way to play again on the weekend. It's like, I feel a bit funny. I, was like, I feel like he's carrying on, but then you actually see what really happened. Okay, maybe he's pretty tough. Down in Tassie against St Kilda, um, he was going for a ground ball against Hunter Clark and um, he just ran straight through him. <laughs> no, Paul Lester. This would be a good result here for the oh. team. And Zabel comes smacking through. Bowl Clark over. Split him right down the sternum. I think just the numerous times he runs into a pack, doesn't look so strong and courageous. He's a warrior. I think he played one game with a torn pec, torn bicep muscle and hurt his knee uh, and still didn't want to get subbed out. So uh, one of the toughest guys that I've seen at our football club.